All right, guys, welcome to Joe's RC Corner, and today we're going to be back on the Zenith Cruiser build, and today we're going to be start working on the elevator. Uh, so uh, stay tuned, and we'll get started. All right, guys. So, like I said, we're going to be getting started on the uh, Zenith Cruiser elevator. I know uh, I'm missing my beard here, uh, so I am still wearing my permafrost beard shirt. Uh, but uh, we're going to be letting that grow back out just to give it a little bit of time. Uh, but, anyways, we're going to get started on the uh, Zenith uh, Cruiser. We're going to start working on the uh, elevator today. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to lay everything out here on the bench, and uh, we're going to get started on that. Uh, Clico and everything together making sure everything fits properly and then uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, Maybe even get it all uh, riveted together today, so we'll see how far we can get uh, stay tuned guys and uh, enjoy the video All right, guys. So we're back, and uh, just looking here on the looking here on the parts here, we got all of the decals now off of the uh, off the the ribs. I did transfer the numbers onto the back of them, so that way I can put them in the correct order. Uh, so the next steps is basically we're going to do some deburring, and we're going to go ahead and start clecoing everything together and getting it in place. Uh, so. Uh, uh, stay tuned and uh, I'll be back with you when we're uh, done with that.
All right, guys, so welcome back. And uh, we got a lot done, as you could see from the time lapse on the, uh, on, on the video. Uh, we are basically, I got everything mocked up and, and clecoed here. And uh, as you can see, uh, we have uh, all of the, the hinges are now clecoed in place. Uh, elevator moves up and down nice and freely. Uh, the gap. As you can see, it's uh, you may have to do some adjustment, but keep in mind right now I don't have my uh, uh, supports in here right now. I got to get the supports back in there uh, for this portion here, and uh, then we'll be able to see exactly where this is because that will move a little bit because of the plastic. Um, But uh, like I said, uh, as you can see, everything has been uh, uh, clecoed in place. Uh, I did already open up the holes to the A5 size rivets. Uh, so those are all held in place right now. Uh, we do still need to uh, do the counterbalance and the control linkages, uh, control horns on here still. Uh, but we'll get to that next week. Uh, also, uh, we have the um, elevator trim that we still need to make some adjustments or, or fit uh, that in place and uh, get that hinge in place as well, which is right over here. Um, and again, same thing on this side, the, the gap is about the same. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll make some uh, final adjustments and trimming and sanding of these pieces here, the ABS plastic parts. We'll get that all in place. And then, uh, as you can see, we're getting there on the uh, horizontal stabilizer. So, pretty impressive. I'm really enjoying building this plane. It's a very nice airplane to build. Uh, fairly easy, so far, pretty straightforward. But, uh, like I said, guys, that's all we're gonna get done today. Uh, next week we'll uh, go ahead and try to finish buttoning up this elevator and uh, getting it finalized and clean coat in place. May even be able to uh, rivet the hinge in place. I'm not sure yet. We'll find out. Uh, see where it goes on that. But uh, yeah, and the update is November 30th. I'll be driving up to Missouri to pick up my full kit. So uh, keep an eye out for that video, guys. I'm going to try to document that as well. And uh, if you are wanting to uh, help support the channel, make sure you visit my Teespring store down below. Buy a t-shirt or two. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. So keep building and keep flying, guys. See you later.